Hello and welcome back everybody. After focusing on the Women's Elite 15 race last week, this episode, we want to give all of attention to the best top 15 men in the High Rocks world. After the reigning world champion Hunter McIntyre did not race this season, we will see some new faces trying to win the High Rocks crown in Maastricht. We have an incredible lineup in Maastricht. Almost all men who qualified in the top 15 signed up for the European Championships. It's time for you to pick your champion again. Who do you think will become the European Champion of Fitness Racing? Leave a comment to win a free Hyrox entry for 2023. Thiago Lusa. The Portuguese had an amazing performance in Frankfurt, securing him the pole position in Maastricht. With only 28 minutes and 30 seconds of total runtime, he is probably the fastest athlete on the track and will be one of the favorites for the race in Maastricht. In addition, he is the only athlete to finish the 80 meters burpee broad jumps in under two minutes. Unbelievable. Alexander Fronkovic. Alexander is the most consistent athlete in the High Rocks world. He finished on the podium in all World Championship races in the past. Apart from the running, where Alexander is just 30 seconds behind Thiago, his rowing abilities absolutely stand out. He usually just needs 3 minutes and 30 seconds to finish both the ski erg and the rowing. A very impressive performance that makes him a true contender for the title. Jonathan Wynn. Starting under the flag of Australia, Jonathan is one of the newer faces, making his mark amongst the High Rocks elite. His main strength is that he doesn't have any real weaknesses. In all workouts, he is amongst the best individual split times while running 8Ks in sub 30 minutes. That made him break the magical one hour mark for the first time this year after missing that mark twice by just seconds. Michael Sandbeck. The only athlete from the UK is one of the more well-known faces in the High Rocks world. He also raced at the World Championships in Las Vegas. His biggest strength is the weak spot of most other athletes, the sleds. His sled split times are the best in the world in all races he competed in, finishing sled pole in under three minutes, a time that only very few athletes ever achieve. It will be interesting to see if Michael can hold the pace of the top runners in the field to secure a place on the podium. David Magida. The American just missed out on the Elite 15 race in Las Vegas by a few seconds, but now he's back and ready to take the next step. David just spent under two minutes in the rock zone showing his incredible ability in the transition between workout and running. If he can take a minute off his running, he will be a real threat for the podium. The men's race promises to be one of the fastest races we have seen so far. Most of these athletes broke the hour to qualify for Maastricht. Seeing these athletes going head-to-head -head will for sure be a very, very exciting and competitive race to watch. <laughs> 